Hello there YouTube, this is Wheelchair21, and on today's rolling review it is the DX X Divisor set, which contains three cyber cards, one spark doll, and your actual engine device. Now, the three spark cards, or I should say cyber cards, are Ultraman X, Cyber Gamora, and Cyber Alleking. And your spark doll is of Ultraman X, because I mean my god, this is the show. This is his show. And while well, you can actually watch it on Crunchyroll because it's simulcasted there which is like a huge first for the Ultra franchise to actually get a simulcast in America. Yeah, and technically that is the first ever Japanese toku to actually get a simulcast here in America thus far. Now, the box is pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty decent, but the back of the box shows all the cool features. First off, you got the ways to activate his cyber armors through the cyber cards, and you have Gamora, Ala King, and if you have other cards, he can read himself other Ultras, other Spark Dolls, and, well, he kind of talks to you because inside they actually have the voice card uh, to dictate lines from the show and dictate lines from, well, what the cards are supposed to say and do by the actual voice actor for Ultraman Ginga as well as the x Divisor comm system. So, that's really interesting. You get actual two voices in your system and you have multiple things that it can read between the cards and the Spark Dolls. So let's get into how it reads them and, well, what exactly it does. Alright, and here we come to the contents of our purchase, or the contents of, you know, the DX Divisor set. And I'm going to show you first the three cyber cards in their full and beauty and majestic art. Now, pretty much these are like scans right off of the show of Ultraman X. They're very nicely an laminated, not animated, laminated. You have Cyber Gamora. And you have Cyber Ella King. The cool thing about these cards is they also feature nice uh, back art, which tells you their height and weight of each of the character. Now, the one bad problem I'm having is, like, there's a huge glare coming off of them because of my light. And I gotta say, though, hopefully I can get nice, good angle shots for you. As you can see, all the cards. And with the Cyber cards, like I said earlier, that they help X activate armors. And the cool thing that people may notice is, when you look at Gamora's back, and you look at Ella King's back, it actually tells you technically when they debuted, which the original Gamora debuted in the original Ultraman series back in 67, uh, and, well, he had, his debut was in episode 26 and 27, whereas Ella King was in Ultra 7, and he debuted in episode 3. However, they would go on to be in other series, such as, like, Ultraman Taro, Ultraman 80, Max, both featured prevalently in Max, as well as the Mega Monster Battle series and movies. And, well, Gamora is now really, well, a hero, so it's really good that Daichi uses Cyber Gamora quite a bit and has its own Spark Doll of Gamora and as well as Cyber Gamora in later episodes. Spoiler alert. For people who don't know what a Spark Doll are, a Spark Doll is a basic Bandai Japan vinyl, but has, like, the special, uh thing on the bottom uh, left foot that it allows it to be read by the henshin devices of the series and in this thing it has like a small little chip or a small scanner that is read by the reader on the watch well, it's the x divisor the ginga spark does it and the victory lancer does too but the x divisor does it the best where it reads it and it tells you who's the character and usually gives you a nice catchphrase or an attack used in the show the points of articulation are very limited each of the arms and the waist and that's all it can really technically do but it is quite bendable pliable and really durable toy so just having a spark doll on its own is a nice little thing to put on your desk and for display purposes i'm experiencing some difficult technical difficulties with the x device for some reason it's acting out it's not doing things it's supposed to be doing and for some reason I'm getting weird sounds coming out of it that it normally doesn't do, or cycling through sounds that it normally shouldn't do, such as prepare to henshin sounds. Now, I finally fixed it, and when, well, as you saw earlier, when it's not active, he will shout at you, Oi! Here's a few sounds. The... Watch the X Divisor tells you Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, and my god, it's actually henching again, which is annoying. Alright, here we go. 
ユナイトウルトラマン X とユナイトします Yeah, that's one thing I really enjoy about it, is when it unites, the music is pretty badass, pretty awesome, and it's still doing it again. Alright, I'm guessing I have to activate the final attack with something, I'm guessing maybe the card, because there's going to be a spark doll later that helps you activate it immediately. Here we got other sounds. There, I finally figured out how to activate the Zondern Beam. And the sound is happening again. Well, I'm just gonna keep going because I can't stop this. Cyber Gamora now. And here's its attack, most likely. There's your escalation wave. And for the attack. The LA King Super Shockwave. And thus, I think it's about time we come to our final evaluation because right now, I'm very indifferent on my purchase for the X Divisor because when I first got it, and even as of today, almost a week later, I've played with it a couple of times. I've messed around with it, you know, putting in cards, trying to read different cards, reading the different Spark Dolls. I mean, it's been acting up very weird, and especially today has been the weirdest. Um, it keeps making the charge sounds for when active and invading, and when even trying to read the cards, it's saying different things than when it did. So I'm thinking most likely they are glitched. I'm thinking a lot of people might have issues with theirs being glitched, or with the fact of me trying to get a handle of things, I may have done something to damage the item, because I did have it read at least all freaking, well... 11 of my cards at the time, and all 7 or 6 of my Spark Dolls. So, I think the more extensive you have it read the cards, the more extensive you open it and close it, just to, um, you know, play around, mess with it, it's gonna fry the circuitry or fry the switch board that allows it to switch between sounds or read sounds, or it's just a buggy system in general. I do like having it, I do like having the cards, I do like the overall aesthetics of X more than I do Ginga and Victory because it can read a lot more. Maybe that's why mine is also a little fried. I don't know. I don't understand. So if other people are having their issues with their X Divisor, please leave comments below. But I do say if you really want to get it and you're not going to play with it as much as I probably have over in the week that I've bought it, best then you um, get the deluxe set because you need, you'll need all three of the cards and at least X to do for cosplay purposes if you want to cosplay as Daichi or if you just, you know, want to like have the better set. Um, you can buy this probably for anywhere between 2,500 yen to 3,500 yen depending on where you buy it from because the retail version of it, which it doesn't have all these cool goodies, is going for even less than that because people are like, I don't want to spend extra or search out the Spark Dollar card, so why do I even want this item then? So it's going on clearances. I do feel like with Ultraman, it is a... Well, our, our fan base is very small right now, even though we are quite large. So it depends on how you want to get it, who, who you want to get it for, or whatever. I mean, for so many people now, you do have the chance to at least watch this series because it is on Crunchyroll, so I suggest people do it. I'm just right now very disappointed that the item is acting 
so weird uh, on me for this review and very disappointed. I might have to go back and reshoot it. I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to figure something out, though. So this has been Wheelchair 21 with the X Divisors Deluxe Set, and I'll see you next time for another ruling review and or Doyle's DVDs.